Asian men can are dogs with human faces. They are almost always seen at night in urban areas of Japan. Those who have seen them say they look just like an ordinary dog from afar. When they turn around, you see that they have a human face. The Jin Menken are able to speak and often challenge witnesses in a weary voice, saying things like, Mind your own business, or I'm free to do whatever I want. In some reports, they are seen outside people's houses, rooting through the rubbish, and in other reports, they are spied chasing, chasing cars and frightening drivers on expressways. In one story, there was a restaurant that dumped his trash outside the back door. One night, the chef saw a stray dog rummaging through the rubbish for leftover food. He went out to get rid of the dog. When he tried to chase it away, the dog looked back over its shoulder and said, Leave me alone. In another story, a man was driving on the highway and noticed a dog in his rear view mirror. It was chasing his car as he drove at, at speeds over 100 miles per hour. The dog ran so fast that at one point it was side by side with the car. The driver looked over and was shocked to see that the animal had a human face and he said, Do not look at me. The driver was so astonished that he veered off the road and suffered a terrible accident. The human-faced dogs are usually thought of as being a bad omen of things to come and are often blamed for accidents and disasters. Between 1989 and 1990, hysteria about the Jin Men can reach its heights in Japan. People were calling the police and banging that they rid their neighbors of human-faced dogs. All accidents involving the sighting of the Jin Menken were so frequent that the police had to investigate the possibility that the creatures actually existed. Some people believe that human-faced dogs are the spheres of traffic accident victims who have been reincarnated as dogs. Others believe they are dogs possessed by evil spirits. Some even say that Jin Menken are the human-dog hybrids who, create, who are creating secret biological experiments and managed to escape from the laboratory. <laughs>